reduction and S4 and R conversion. Right, this is the batch we are going to start. So as part of the introduction, so demo session, we will discuss about the, the tools and the timings and what we are going to discuss and each and everything will will align this session. OK, so normally the first we will start with the OSDB migration. OSDB migration as part of the course we will start with the OSDB migration, right? Which means operating system and database migration. So which means so why we we do means moving an SAP system from one hardware platform like operating system or database to another another operating system here, right? SAP will be the same, but underlying the infrastructure will change either operating system or so the database will change. Normally this we will call it as the so OSDB migration. There is another name is called the heterogeneous system copy. Heterogeneous system copy of SAP system here. So normally we use the tools. Actually, there are the some SAP certified migration tools we have using these tools. We will do it here, right? So we have the tools like so there is a R3 load based tool and also SWPM tool. Also, we can use it and also we can use the some DMO tool. Some DMO tools also we can use it here, right? These are the tools here. We will use the uh, either SWPM or some DMO tool, anything we can use it. These are the SAP certified tools. We can use it here. Anyone we can use to do the migration from one VM host to another VM host. We will perform it here. So why organization? Why organization will do the migrations either OS and DB migration? Why? So the organization perform the Various like various there are the various business needs, technology needs like uh, so like uh, cloud. Suppose like company they want to go for the cloud, so they are planning to move to the cloud platform, cloud so cloud based. So that time they will migrate from the on premises OS and DB to the cloud infrastructure, and also end up the support. Sometimes the old OS, some customers they will use the old OS and DB versions. But thus those infrastructure reach to the end of the maintenance. In that case, they will go to the they will they will go to the another data center and everything. So some customers database they want to switch to the database to the another database and something. So some customers platform standardization. Some customers they want to move from the Unix to Linux, Linux to Windows, something like they will do to the some cost and due to the some benefits, they will change the operating systems. They will change the databases. They will change the from on prem to cloud. They will go for the rise with SAP also. Why the OSDB migration is needed means these all are the reasons, business reasons and technical reasons here, right? So some customers nowadays they are moving to the rise with SAP. In that case, they require when converting ECC to S4 in the cloud, this migration techniques, migration tools are required. Definitely, which we have to do that one. In case of rise with SAP, also we have to do that one here, right? Sir, how many types of migrations we have? Types of migrations, right? So types of migrations. So in case of if we talk about the types of migration, homogeneous we know. Homo means so same platform source and target both operating system is same. Target also same. So same OS, same DB type that we will call it as the homogeneous here. Heterogeneous, heterogeneous means that we know that we are talking about the migration here. Heterogeneous means which we are talking about the migration here, which means different operating system, different database source. Either source and target. If any platform is changing, if the OS is changing, that is called the OS migration. If the DB is changing, that is called the DB is migration so both are changing that is called the osdb migration but in middle layer application layer is same application layer is same only database data is getting migrated from the one platform to another platform here so the next one is called the database migration option so do you have the dmo option database migration option here this will combines the upgrade plus unicode conversion plus db migration 
in one step using the sum tool sum dmo step which we are talking about the sum dmo in one step we can migrate everything we can combine the unique code conversion why because sometimes when you are planning to move to the hana database definitely it should be the unique code and the latest kernel and unique code and upgrade and db migration in one step single step in single downtime we can go with the using the sum dmo tool here sometimes you may have to go to the cloud migration also here cloud migration which means moving the sap workloads to the either public clouds or private clouds here in that case on prem linux plus hana to aws hana cloud it is going that time cloud migration techniques we have to use it here right so but common tools we will use it here either swpm or recommended or as, as some dmo tool but if in case of swpm some upgrades are required two step approach if you want to go for the some dmo tool straight forward we can go for this one here right this is used for the using the swpm tool this one we will use the export import methods there is a method called the export import method so some dmo tool is like a when the it will combine the upgrade plus migration single shot it will combine the upgrade plus migration upgrade plus migration it will go to the the target hana database only here right but if you want to go to the sql to oracle or some other databases then this tool will not be helpful that time you need to go to the swpm export and import method we have to use it here then we have the r3 load tool which will export the table data during the migration and it will import the table data only tables data it will export and import it here r3 load here right then so that is the some dmo and so they are the some other uh, like r3 sz check r3 migmon there are the tools are there it will be used by the r3 load tool for this one here so what is the strategies normally sap recommending there are the different strategies depending upon the complexity downtime tolerance system size there are the multiple parameters we have to consider to migrate to migrate multiple parameters we have to consider it here right so they are the some recommended strategies normally we use it here as part of the migration one is the classical r3 load based migration right one is the strategy one classical classical so classical r3 load r3 load based migration here r3 load based migration here which means so used for the ecc and netweaver systems using the r3 load we will export it and transfer the files and import into the system cl right but downtime is depending upon the db size here we cannot see depending upon the db size export and import methods here right here the main thing is like we need to check the pre checks export using the swpm tool and file transfer exported dump import using the swpm tool post migration activities and everything we have to use it here right then strategy number 2 dmo database migration with some tool this is a standard straight forward approach here so normally this dmo we can use for only for database migration as well as the s4 ana conversion also we can use it here right using the ecc to s4 ana and single tool the sum tool which integrates the upgrade plus unicode plus db migration in one run we can use it here it is a single downtime simplified process here the downtime we can minimize it here right but it is a limited limited to the specific target dbs this is only for the the target is only for the hana database only here right hana database only here so the next two strategy we have available in the sap that is called the parallel export and import using the migration monitor so there is a migration migmon tool that is also sap but rare cases people will use for that migmon tool for the larger systems and faster migration purpose they will use the migra migmon tool here right migmon tool so next one is the nzdm tool here nzdm so strategy number 4 nzdm here right this is for the mission critical to minimize the near zero downtime and sld replications they will use almost zero downtime during the cutovers and they will use the slt syncing the data and all those things they will use the so this methods and everything here right so they are the main planning here our approaches which we will follow is during the migration time is like a 
we need to follow the sizing system sizing is very important here then downtime window is very important here right so the network bandwidth also one of the key factor for the downtime network bandwidth right and also the file systems file systems also very important here right and also some of the sap nodes we need to refer the migration nodes to optimize the and also we need to review we need the migration key also very important here so system sizing means we need to validate the target hana db sizing using the quick sizer tools ah uh, there are some reports we can use it here right so downtime window means we can estimate the export and import timelines there is a benchmarking tools are available in the some dmo there are the benchmarking tool available using the tools we can estimate why because when you are doing the some pocs or something for customer customer will ask the one question right you remember like uh, how much time it will take for the downtime what is the migration rate and everything right without doing the pvc how can we tell that's why there is a benchmarking tool without fully performing we can calculate the timelines efforts estimation timelines and everything we can calculate it using the benchmark tool that is available in the some tool only that is also we will discuss that one here right these and all the steps we need to perform it right means before you directly performing we need to discuss about the the tools usage source system requirement target system requirement target system build the connectivity from the source to target so any inconsistencies in the source system like how to enable the dmo options and all those things we need to plan it we need to plan all those things here right this is the one of the phase one we will perform the osdb migration and the phase two we will go with the s4 and a conversion while going the phase two we will revert back the changes we will revert back we will revert back the changes to the rollback to the previous ones why because so after the voice db migration sap is running on the one host db is running on the hana database and different host it will be the distributed and so now we want to roll back the changes then again it will come to the earlier status before the osdb migration then we will start the s4 ana conversion we will start it here s4 ana conversion we will start it here so in the s4 ana conversion what is mean by conversion here right so here os and db you converted but now sap system you are converting from ecc to sap system ecc to s4 ana you are converting here so is the process of converting existing ecc into the the s4 ana keeping the same sid same business data instead of doing the new installation existing ecc were converting to the s4 ana system here they are the approaches like uh, brown field green field and selective migration there are many things are there here right so if you install the fresh new system will come but what about the my existing data here right so for that one we need to use the we need to use the approaches we need to follow the approaches here right so why we have to do the conversion here what is the reason right so some hana database requirement right if we want to move to the hana ecc to hana then definitely and also we know end of the support right sap sap ecc versions the older ecc versions are reaching to the end of the mainstream maintenance by 2027 plus i think they extended to the 30 i guess but 2027 is the the maintenance mainstream maintenance is going to end in that case by that time all ecc customers we have to move to the s4 ana systems here right in that case ecc to s4 ana nowadays some customers they are moving to the uh, rise with sap in that also their their core erp systems they are moving to the rise with sap means s4 ana public cloud or private clouds in that case you need to perform the this conversion approaches you have to follow without you knowing the conversions and migrations so we you may face the some difficulties right and reuse the existing investments like uh, the historical data custom code and configurations you want to reuse then in this case you want to go for the s4 ana system and business process optimizations right so they are the conversion types like brown field green field selective data migrations are there here right so selective data migration here so selective data migration means so only selected data we can migrate using the migration tools we can migrate using the ltmc we can migrate it suppose like this here the brown field green and the brown field and 
the selective data migration here selective data migration here selective data means migrate only selected data not all the data using the ltmc there is a in the west corona there is a concept is called the ltmc concept here right so brownfield means here what is mean by brownfield means transfer the ecc to s4 ana in place migration and everything here right so greenfield means fresh s4 installation migrate only necessary data that is also using the brownfield greenfield and everything here the key tools we will use for this one only one tool that is called the sum dmo tool we will use it here for migrations or conversions we will use the sum dmo tool here but here there are lot of pre checks we have to perform it here one is the maintenance planner session readiness check reports and also the custom code migrations uh, so then simplification item catalog so then sizing these are the many things it will take it will take the days to complete this and all the things and also your system to perform all those things there are the tons of nodes we have to implement in our sap system to support this one here to support tons of nodes we have to implement it here right so sum dmo is the recommended approach from sap to move to the sforana conversion to the target or rise with sap yes using the sum dmo tool we will go with the this approach here otherwise we have the two step approach actually that is called the larger systems and the complex landscape first of all migrate the db migration to the hana database then you can use the sforana upgrade using the sum tool ecc to sforana that is a two step approach here but single step sum dmo that is we can use the two step there is a, a near zero downtime also right using the sld replication all the data we can cut over we can minimize the data and everything here right so these are the some scenarios we will follow the main objective is here ecc to s4 ana before that osdb migration also we are doing here right there are the post migration there are the some strategies what are the strategies so which strategy is applicable for the best standards best best methods sap methods we will use to migrate it these and all the things we will discuss during the our discussion here so here coming back to the our way our ways of work here first of all we will go with the osdb migration okay and we will load the some of the custom data then we will migrate the using the sum dmo or earlier we used the sum dmo here sum dmo tool we will migrate to the hana so that is the one of the method otherwise if everybody is okay then we can use the swpm tool export import method also we can use it two methods these are the two recommended methods that we can decide it uh, we can decide it everybody is okay then which method we have to follow that we can follow it here either any one of the method we will follow the next one is the s4 ana conversion that is definitely for the sum tool only we have only option that we will use the sum dmo tool what how to enable it what are the recommendation what are the pre steps what are the simplification what how to fix the errors these and all the things we will discuss so first sum dmo tool we will start with sorry osdb migration then so in the osdb migration target system builds space memory so any inconsistencies in the source so all those things we have to perform all the prerequisites prerequisites then we will do the actual work then conversion and same right this is the method so overall this procedures which i earlier batches and everything overall around 40 days it will take to complete it here so osdb migration within one week to 10 days we can complete it but s4 and a conversion only one of the so time taking procedures it take very very longer time so that's why this will take longer time right this is our approach so we will start with the daily one hour daily one hour initially so theoretical discussions and the practical everything so based upon the things why because some of the phases will run longer time if you put today tomorrow also it will run it that time immediately we will connect it we'll see what is happening and we will discuss and we will close it out so daily one hour we will catch up we will discuss about the this trainings and everything so then so we can also progress the offline and everything here okay so as part of this one the session will be recorded the recorded video will be shared as usual and also the related documentation also you will get it out so that is the and uh, that you will get it out definitely so that is the one thing and timings uh, timings only one of the biggest concern now so timings part that i will what timings we can adjust now 